Hello, audiophiles of the internet, and welcome back once again to Audio 46, your headphone destination. My name is Franco, and today I have another headphone review for you from company Strauss and Wagner. But you'll notice that this unit looks a little bit different from the ones that I usually talk about on this channel. Even though Strauss and Wagner pride themselves on their claim that they can deliver high quality audio in packages that are really affordable, is it really possible to get audiophile grade sound from a $40 earbud? Strauss and Wagner says yes, and I'm gonna weigh in right now. So stick around because we're gonna get into it. Let's talk headphones. As far as packaging, there isn't much to say here, as this is just about as standard as it gets. The EM205 comes in a white box, which unfolds at the top to reveal a handsome gray and silver drawstring pouch. Your earbuds are located inside along with your manual and a small packet of different size replacement ear tips. The same nondescript quality is present in the design here as well, as these are not aspiring to look any different than your standard pair of wired earbuds, albeit perhaps with a bit more build integrity. The cable is fairly thin and won't stand up to any particularly harsh abuse, but the connection on the 3.5 millimeter jack and the housing are made of a very sturdy feeling plastic that also has a nice looking matte charcoal finish. These certainly feel a little more solid and durable than a typical bargain bin earbud. These also feature an inline remote with three buttons to control volume play, pause, and skip functions, and handle your calls. Because of this boilerplate dual cylinder shape, you won't find much in the way of ergonomics here, and these fit just about as well as any other earbud I would carry around. They were nice and snug in the ear, but they don't slot in as well as something like a universal IEM, and despite their relative comfort, these will start to wear on you ever so slightly if you're going to have them on for abnormally long amounts of time. As far as your nuts and bolts, the EM205 utilizes a reliable 9mm dynamic driver setup, and they output the standard frequency range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. These factors combined with a 32 ohm output impedance to ensure optimal performance from either a smartphone or a computer mean that these headphones stand pretty smack in the middle of the spectrum when it comes to headphone specs. No more than the usual and no less. You'd be forgiven for wondering why I'm even bothering to review these earbuds when all I've been able to say thus far is that they are very standard and very normal. Well, this is all very true, except when it gets down to that most important area of the sound quality. In this sense, these absolutely eviscerated my expectations. When I put these in, the first thing that immediately drew my attention was the size of the soundstage that began to emerge. As someone who is constantly cycling between burner earbuds when not listening to some of the more sophisticated units we have here, I'm very used to having earbuds in like these nearly 50% of the time. As soon as I started to put on some tracks, the normal stereo field that I was accustomed to with earbuds stretched wider and wider and managed to project out of my head much farther than I would have expected. Granted, these are still small units, so they're not gonna give any decent open back over ear headphones a run for their money in this department. But the amount of size that they can deliver in such a small package is really notable here. In a track like Supremacy by Muse, each of the intricate instrument parts gets its own space to reverberate naturally and retains finely layered timbres. The image was very clear and there was a superb amount of separation. It'll be no surprise to regular earbud users out there that these do lean a tad heavy on the bass. The low end frequencies here are thick and powerful, but with enough balance and restraint not to overpower the limited headroom. Any song predicated on heavy drums and bass will absolutely receive its due here. And for those like me who prefer a little bit of rumble to their tracks, these have a good amount of thump and sub-bass presence to get your head nodding. In something like Jennifer Lopez's Pati, the reggaeton beat is sufficiently heavy but doesn't cause any fuzziness or bleed over some of the more delicate elements. Certain mid-range frequencies also really stick out here, generally frequencies that are more toward the low end of the mid-range, which gives these headphones an overall very warm and pleasant sound signature. This means that depending on what you're listening to, some of the elements in this range might blur a bit more than you might prefer. For instance, in All I Ask by Adele, the combination of the rich piano with her smoky and bellowy vocals results in an effect that is heavy on overtones and creates a blanket of mid-range sound that is totally enveloping. This is a quality that is really pleasant and adds a nice bit of color to your list experience, but obviously isn't going to be great if you need to be a bit more analytical. However, if you need to do some intense mixing, I doubt that you would be using earbuds for that purpose in the first place. Naturally, this also means that the high-end frequencies are the one area where the EM205 doesn't quite deliver as much as some other comparable units might. Listening to the same song, when Adele gets into her vocal pyrotechnics for the grand finale of the track, the power is all there, but some of the crackle you might get from her voice on the top end is slightly rolled off. 
This is less of a problem in a piano vocal ballad, but even the most emphatic and powerful high range vocal performance can get lost in a mix if it is big or busy enough. To say I was surprised by the Strauss and Wagner EM205 would be a big understatement. While this headphone may not turn any heads with its decidedly regular design and features, the sound quality is simply superior for a consumer level earbud. Anyone looking for an extra kick to their casual listening or some backup earbuds that their audiophile ears can still enjoy should definitely look at these tiny powerhouses from Strauss and Wagner. So what do you guys think? Do I have any Strauss and Wagner fans out there? If so, please let me know in the comments down below. I continue to be impressed with this brand because of how much quality they deliver at such affordable prices. If you enjoyed this video or want to see more like it, then please take a minute to hit the subscribe button so that you never miss another video from our channel and so you can always join in on the discussion. To learn more about this product or any other that we sell in the store, please feel free to visit audio46.com to check out our blogs and other reviews. And if you want to get our best sales and deals delivered right to your inbox while you're shopping for the holiday season, then please consider joining our mailing list. Finally, if you happen to find yourself in New York City in the coming weeks, then please feel free to drop into our brick and mortar store right here on 46th Street so that you can try out some gear and come and say hello. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you once again so much for watching. My name is Franco with Audio 46, your headphone destination, and I will see you all very soon.